I suppose that I was already presented from how much I understand the German, so my presentation will be actually in English. So, Christmas evening, a little boy, five years old, is waiting for the Santa Claus. By the way, raise your hand if you remember this feeling. Finally, in the morning, the Santa Claus arrives, and the little boy, excited, is running to open his gifts. He opened the first gift, and he was surprised. The same gift lay like last year. He opened the second gift, and he was shocked. Same gift like last year. He opened the third one. Same gift like last year. He opened the fourth one. And he realized that all the gifts are the same like last year. Mother, mother, I believe that the Santa Claus make a mistake. All my gifts are the same like last year. His mother looked in the boy's eyes and she said, you received the same gifts as last year because you did not play yet with them. How about us? Are we using our gifts? or we are always searching new ones instead of value, the ones that we are having. Who we are? Um, Leonid's having two division, cable and wiring system division. I'm coming from the wiring system division. We are producing the electrical part in a car. We are having uh, represented in 19 countries, uh, 48. Uh, production sites, uh, around uh, 65,000 employees, and the uh, uh, production space, uh, about 515,000. How many of you know or was at least one time on the Aliens Arena? Just give me a sign. Imagine that Aliens Arena is having the number of the people that Leoni is having worldwide. 2008, I have my first introduction in kata training, and the kata trainer, Ralph Winkler, explained us how much potential we are having in the organization, and how we come to this. How many of you know the weight of our brain? Just give me a sign. So for the ones that don't know, I will tell you now. So we have around 1.3 kilo. So if we multiply with the people that we have in our organization, I realize that we have a potential of 84 tons. And I thought, wow, this is a big potential. So from that moment, actually, we were starting to deploying uh, Kata in our organization in a pilot plan, and due to a successful deployment in uh, May 2012, with the support of executive board member, Leoni decided to um, uh, deploy Kata in all the production plans. On that mo uh, time, we had 33 production plans. How we start the deployment? We have started with training session, maybe as many of you, uh, done by external company for all the management teams. So we always know the manager are the most important, so we decide if all the managers have to be trained. So we done the training, then we was uh, followed by improvement kata workshops, and finally uh, we got it in what we called uh, kata by, day by day. So this is the way how we start the deployment of Kata. And after four years, uh, we had looked of uh, where we are today, and uh, we realized that we, are, we obtained very small versus the potential. Remember the 84 tons of brain that we could actually uh, involve in uh, improving our processes. So how we follow actually the potential, we follow uh, how many people are trained, uh, 
and how many people are practicing. When I'm meaning train, I'm meaning the people who are trained to be a mentee, first coach or second coach. For sure, we are having much more people trained as team members in improvement, part of the Kata Improvement Workshop, but we just follow the ones who are trained. And then practicing means who are really doing it daily. So, Actually, we was just figure out that only 52% of the people are practicing, even if our internal target is to have 80% people practicing. So we was asking why. And um, by putting uh, this question, I, uh, we create uh, some uh, learnings and some, some hypotheses that uh, I would like to share with you in the next minutes that maybe you can help you to be uh, faster and better than us. So what are our learnings? The first learning is uh, lead a good plan. Uh, as Abraham Lincoln said, gave me six hours to chop down a tree, and I will spend the four sharpening the ax. So when in 2012, Leoni decided to deploy it in all Leoni plants, I was too excited, and the only thing that I wanted, it was to train the people, to apply it, to get results, and to show the money. So I was not uh, very careful in planning a long-term success. I was just actually jumping in the results. And then I experienced actually what um, Jeffrey Linker and David Mayer uh, present us in Toyota Talent in regards with the production performance over time. So they just explained that um, doing a, training the people through a trial by fire method, yes, you will gain results at the beginning, but actually on long term, the performance will remain constant somewhere around 80. But if you spend some online development on long term, the performance will be higher. So we was actually jumping without taking the time of a good plan that should assure us to be maybe today by 80. The second one, it was encourage the change. How many of you know or hear or read the book Switch? Thank you. How many of you, it's using the book, it's using the model that the authors propose in deploying the kata in your organization? Don't worry, I did not also use it. I read it, it was good, but after that, I come back to my daily business. And actually, it's happened exactly what the authors describe in the book, and I like a lot the metaphor between uh, of the elephant and the rider, conscious and unconscious mind. And because it's about a habit, creating a new habit. And the one actually that activated was my elephant that just put the book aside. And also when I s we start the deployment, we perceive actually more improvement and coaching kata as a method of improvement. We did not realize that actually this is a changing of the culture, this is a changing of behavior, this is a changing of way how you behave to develop people, to improve processes. And this actually should be supported by a change management process. And then I get again a look on the principle and on the model that authors propose are in the book, mainly are the three big areas, direct the rider, motivate the elephant, and shape the path, make at the end the change easy. And by um, reflecting actually on this model of how um, you could uh, make easier the change using kata, so developing the people, I, you will I will present the next uh, learnings. So I encourage you that uh, if you start um, the dep deployment of the kata in your organization, think of what change management model can accompany your uh, deployment. Awareness kata training. Motivate the elephant. 
find the feeling. This is coming with the training. And the way how we train today, the method, the training materials are speaking a lot for the uh, rider. But after that, how many of you had in your trainings people very motivated that they wanted to do it? Just give me a sign. How many of you meet these people today? They are still motivated, but they did not start it. And why? At the, at the end, we know why. Because the elephant is having six tons. And he's the one that will do the change. The rider understands the logic, but we need to create the emotions. So my learnings for the training should be at the beginning more direct for the uh, elephant. Create the emotion that will make the people start, even maybe if it's not so perfect the way how they practice. Raise the experts. So the way how we have started, um, it was with the support of the Leoni Productivity System team. So we also have uh, a department like a Lean department. And as we was very motivated, we start the development of these people in the same time with the deployment in the organization. And actually, this put some breaks. Because when you want to do a change and when you want to use something new, the people expect actually from this team to give them all the answer. And they did not have the patience to learn actually with us. So this put breaks. Uh, we develop a training program for them as a so-called kata training, trainer, but this they start only after two years um, of our deployment. So I encourage you to uh, take the time for the offline development, even if maybe at the beginning you don't get the results, but you will prepare for a better deployment on long term. As the um, approach is recommended, we also start with an advanced group. And um, as um, actually everybody said that the managers are important, and this time I did not want to fail as with uh, the other lean approaches that we start, I say, okay, all the management will be involved. So the advanced group should be the management team because then we will be for sure successful. But then I learned the rule 10, 10, 80. And this rule is saying like this, 10% of the managers will do it, doesn't matter what. 10% will never do it, doesn't matter what you will do. And 80% will depend on the circumstance. So I learned that it's better to start with the 10% that will do it, doesn't matter what, to prepare actually the circumstance that when the 80% will start, you will have a, a better success. Involve the managers. Again, the managers. So everything is around the managers. And as I told you, we start uh, with everybody. But then I understand that one point on the manager is the way how they see their role. Do they see the role more as a boss or more ad, as a leader? How the manager understand the role? Do they see more the role know what is done or they will show how it's done? Do they more command or they ask questions? Do they more critic or do they more grow the people? So you have, to you have to see the behavior of the manager before how they understand their role. This is something that not necessary you have to observe in order to understand. And start with the manager who perceive themselves or who you see from the behavior that are more a leader. And even in that moment, if they are seen the, as a leader and they use this approach of putting question, uh, we call it not only five questions. So the five questions are, are just a guide. But you need to give much more um, deeper trainings in coaching to teach the managers to learn what is behind at the end the five question. What we cannot see is not just putting the question. And um, we learn that we should focus in parallel with the trainings with on the kata, with their daily practice, to uh, give them more trainings in the coaching. 
get resources, again, as it was the recommendation, um, have a daily practice, 30 minutes allocate. Uh, we took actually this uh, guide, but we was offering to the organization as a guide, optional. But what we learned actually that this should be a top management decision in order to shape the path to make the easy, the change uh, in the organization, you need to set up from the beginning and offer the time to the people and follow this. So this should not be optional. You should offer in the organization this time. Doesn't matter the level of the practice. If you don't have the time to practice, you will never do it and should not be optional as we have done it, should be actually mandatory and support by the top management this time. And the last one, what we learn is search cooperation. So as I told you, when we start, I just perceive it as a tool. But then I understood that it's changing a behavior, develop the skills of the people, develop the culture, change the culture, and the key department in this process is actually the HR department. So we should involve our HR departments before actually we start the deployment. They need to be one of your support in, uh, besides normally the lean organization, whatever we call them in each uh, uh, company, they start this initiative. They need to have a good partnership from the HR department. So this was mainly the, some of the learnings that uh, out of the four years of deploying Kata in all the organization I wanted to share with you. But nevertheless, we are still having 52% who are practicing and uh, we will use our gifts in order to receive more next year. Thank you.